Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, good morning and welcome back to fishing. So we are mid-April right now and uh, we are about to do some freshwater fishing. Uh, we are just outside of New York City right now, like a 40 minute drive or so, which in my opinion for what we're about to do is New York City area. Uh, but yeah, we're about to launch some kayaks, uh, meeting up with my friend Ryan, co-worker and all that stuff. Uh, he fished with me a couple sessions ago and we're gonna try and get on some largemouth bass. At least that's what I'm assuming. I've never fished this spot before, so hopefully this uh, goes well. Launch the kayak. There's not a lot of places in New York City uh, in the surrounding area that you can launch a kayak, so I'm hoping that this goes well. So hopefully you'll have some good uh, viewing action. Uh, stay tuned, because you know what we're about to do. Get some fishing accomplished. All right, here we are on the water. Beautiful morning, probably like 60 degrees out, it's mid-April, so it's still a little chilly, but on the water, uh, it's a lake I've never fished before, uh, but my friend Ryan has spoke highly of it, and I know there's some nice largemouth bass in here, so we're going to see if we can get on them. Uh, see you in a bit. All right, first thing we're going to fish once we get to our first spot is this little Kitech Easy Shiner, uh, one tenth ounce jig head. I haven't gone through a lot of my freshwater stuff recently, so hopefully I got a few more of these. Uh, more geared up for salt water right now because uh been putting a little more time into that but i think we've got what we need to manage this so just know that this is what i'm starting with and if i do change up i'll let you know all right let's get it out there all right so yeah this was my first uh freshwater kayak outing outside of new york city a uh, couple things. Uh, first and foremost, this is a place I've never fished before, so I was really trying to figure out the spot. Uh, my friend had fished this spot before, but never myself, so part of this was just getting a, a feel for what kind of body of water this is. Uh, and again, I am in New York City right now, and there aren't too many places in the immediate metro area where you can launch a kayak. There's actually some really nice reservoirs you can fish at just outside the city, but if you want to fish inside the water, you need to have a boat that you only fish that body of water uh, in. That's the New York City Reservoir regulations, which I won't go into, but yeah, there's not too many uh, larger bodies that you can launch a kayak in, a lot of smaller ponds, and this just so happens to be one of them. So, tough session, but we did get in some fish, so I'll leave it at that, and we'll continue with the contest. pretty deep right here. Still like 10 feet where I'm at right now. Must drop off pretty quick. Oh, oh, yeah. Good fish too. Not bad. Woo. Oh, he just popped off. <laughs> Not terrible. Two, and a, two pounder. I'll show you what I got him on. I got a couple more of these if you want to try it. Very different from what we're using. Yeah, pound and a half, two pounder. First green bass of the year. Get him back. You want to see get a close look or are you good? Healthy, yeah. Uh... Nice big mouth on it. He's got, it looks like he'll even fatten up more. Yeah, let's get him back. Oh, nice. Right, cool. so oh, that's a tiny crank. Yeah, I got more too. I'll let you get one if you want, if you got nothing like that. All right, we just got a nice little largemouth, good pound and a half, two pound fish, healthy. First green bass of the year. 
Oh, look. Turtle over there. We got America birds all over the place. Turtles. What more could you ask for? Other than more fish. But we got that fish on a little tiny crankbait, big O. Uh, followed it right up to the boat. Let's see if we can replicate that and get on some more fish. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> we on a bite, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Baby, but. Yo. <laughs> this one's even smaller than the last one. All right, we got a we got a pattern, buddy. We got a pattern. Not the fish we want, but the fish we need. Wondering what's going on here. Maybe we can keep working that shoreline. This spot looks good. I mean, this is where I would go. Once I saw the map and looked at it, this looks good because it is a point that does have deep water around it and shallow up against it. Maybe we should work that cove behind us. Okay. Let's work that way, I guess, because this area is going to, I don't want to crowd it. And All right. So after getting that little flurry of bites, uh, my, friend and I, my friend Ryan and I continue to move down the shoreline, uh, seeing if we can get on a pattern like we did at that point. We couldn't. But after a little while, uh, my friend Ryan did get on a, a fish. And I'll apologize about the lens. I'm not quite sure what happened here, but uh, yeah, it's unfortunate. Oh yeah. Watch out for those hooks. All right, Ryan, AK missing is on some action. Let's see what you got. His YouTube debut for fish. It's not a bad fish, a little pounder, I'd say. Oh yeah, it's, it's comparable to the one I got. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, let's, let's do one of these. Boom. Elevator eyes that fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's get him back. All right. Peace out, friend. Pound and a half on the. What'd you get him on, Ryan? Uh, that was on the like rainbowish crankbait. All right. Fire tiger, whatever it is. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, fire tiger, I think. Probably something like that. Yeah. All right. So Ryan just got his first fish in the crankbait. And a uh, tough start to the morning, but I guess the key was just you know, being flexible and just trying whatever we thought could potentially work. So it seems that these crankbaits are doing it today. Kitex weren't, Senkos weren't, jigs weren't. Um, but crankbaits, yes. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And let's also not hook that goose. No, yeah. I mean, especially once it gets a little warmer, this will be definitely a good spot. I'm not sure how many fish have moved into here right now, though. It is definitely getting shallower. There we go. Yeah. No, actually, I'm stuck on something. I felt like for a second there was a fish on there. And there is. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Something's not right here. Man, my fish are just getting smaller and smaller. Oh, it would make splendid bait, but unfortunately it's a largemouth bass. Yeah, I'm going to have to back up. All right, getting down to the nitty gritty. See if we can get a fish or two more before we call it a day. So there you have it. Uh, after we got that small fish, uh, we didn't really have much action afterwards. And this was a short session, just the morning. Uh, we had to be out of the water by close to 11 o'clock. So if we had all day, we probably could have figured out the fish. But uh, it was, again, just a short little session. So there you have it. Uh, 
Nothing to write home about, of course, but I figured it'd be nice to do something other than trout for freshwater, and I'm hoping to get one or two good freshwater bass videos out before the summer really gets in full swing. So that'll do it. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe and all that fun stuff for the video. You know how to do it. Uh, and of course, more stuff to come soon, and goodbye from fishing.